Didn't know that Ohio has islands? Well, in fact, it has 36 of them. And today we are gonna look at Put-In Bay or South Bass Island. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you don't wanna miss any of my videos where I talk about all things Cleveland and around Cleveland, then please don't forget to hit that button and the like and the subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, I appreciate it. So um, I've been lots of, getting lots of calls from people and emails and requests. And um, I just talked to somebody last week and was talking about different areas in Cleveland and whether the east side is a better fit for them or the west side of Cleveland is a better fit for them. And, you know, and my response was, well, it depends on what you're, where you want to be around. Um, I am a West Sider, and as I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, I enjoy being by the water. Um, we have a place up in Marblehead, Ohio, and I mentioned to her that, hey, there's islands up there, and she went, islands? Yes, we have islands, she had no idea. So I did an, a video already on Kelly's Island, um, and over the summer I took video of Putin Bay. I spent the day there with my daughter, but never did anything with all that footage, and you know what, it's the end of February, this month has been horrible. It's actually 50 degrees today, so I'm really excited. The snow's starting to melt, but I am so over winter that I thought this would be a great time because I really don't want to go out there and film snowy neighborhoods and then come back and edit snowy footage. So I had a really good time editing my footage from Putin Bay, uh, which was back in August and looking at people in shorts and t-shirts and on boats and jet skis. So um, today our video is on Putin Bay and Putin Bay is where people from Cleveland, all over Ohio, even Canada, cause it's so close to Canada, come to party. <laughs> Putin Bay is the party island, but it's also family friendly. It has lots of rentals. Um, you can stay for the week inexpensively. It has, uh, it's known for its fishing. Um, there's lots of history. There's the Perry's Monument. There was actually the Lake Erie Battle that was fought there in the War of 1812. Um, <clears throat> I took my kids on the, um, we did the tour of it. You know, you can go way up. I don't know if you can now, but you can go way up to the top. I did it. It was scary. Um, but it's really cool. So lots of history. There's wineries on Putin Bay. It's a great place to just get a golf cart. Um, drive around the island, uh, lots of bars, obviously. Uh, when I went, I went on a Monday. Now, granted, it was COVID, so um, the bars were not crowded. It was also a Monday, so when we go around, you're going to see it doesn't look very crowded. Uh, but two summers ago, my husband and I, we took our bikes over there and rode around the island. It was a Friday, and right around 5 o'clock, we noticed the island was starting to get pretty crowded. You saw a lot of people getting off the Jet Express with their suitcases and uh, it's a destination place. A lot of people like to have um, their bachelor bachelorette parties there. I know my best friend Mary, she had hers there and it was crazy. Uh, so it does get crazy over the weekends. That was our go-to spot uh, for years before I got married out of college, we would rent a place for Memorial Day re weekend and go crazy all weekend long. Um, but also I've rented places for the week with my family and my kids and, you know, we didn't go into the bars at all. So, you know, there's something for everyone at Putin Bay. Um, how do you get there? Well, Putin Bay is about an hour west of Cleveland. There are two ferries that you can take to get there. One is the Jet Express, which you can uh, catch from downtown Port Clinton. Uh, and what's nice about the Jet Express, it's quick, it's convenient, um, and it drops you off right downtown. But it is $25 about that round trip. So for 50 bucks right away, you know, you got 50 bucks for your, for your, for your boat ride there and home. Uh, and then, but it does have a late service. So if you're out to party and you don't think you're going to be back until one in the morning, Jet Express is the way to go. I like to take the Miller Ferry. And you catch that off of Route 53 in Catawba. Um, so it's a little further out, but it's cheap. Um, I, I, how much did we pay? 
with our bike was maybe 18 bucks. It was, it was cheap. It's really inexpensive. It takes a little bit longer. It drops you off about two miles from downtown, but you can rent a golf cart or a bike right there, which is what my daughter and I did this past August. And it was fine. No problem. Now I've been there with my kids and my husband a couple summers ago. And I think it was a Saturday and we got off the Miller Ferry and there were no golf carts. They were all sold out. So it does get jam packed in the summertime, but go on a different day or just go and deal with it. It's super, super fun. I love Putin Bay. Um, I love going when I was younger, we would take another ferry from Putin Bay, which is also known as South Bass Island and right a hop, skip and a jump is, um, middle bass. And over there is Lanza's Winery, which had a huge accident back in the 90s, but that's the place where we would go. It was so much fun. You'd get a couple of bottles of cheap wine and they had live entertainment and you'd spend your day at Lanza's Winery. Um, it's open now. I don't know what it functions as. Um, Middle Bass is another cool little island. Um, it's my husband's favorite. It has a really nice, I don't have any video of it, but we were over there. We took our jet ski over there this summer and it's got a beautiful little marina easy to get in and out of. Um, so that's there too. So let's take a look at Putin Bay and enjoy some warm weather.
Tommy Muscles. Man, that's such a joke. I got a six pack. I got one right here. Sitting over ice underneath my chair. Feeling good, good, good. Are you ready for some warm weather now? I know I sure am. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.